Hi, I'm here with Priscilla, who's uh, going to tell us a bit about her project. Will you first start by introducing yourself to everyone? Um, hello, my name is Priscilla. Um, I created a website application called Visit Africa, and basically what it is, it's supposed to be a travel assistant to anyone who's planning to um, travel to any country in Africa. Um, what it does is it gives you some tourist attractions that you can look at, um, some things to do in whatever African country you're interested in, and then you can use that information to build an itinerary for yourself, for your travel visit. And so what was the inspiration behind your project? So I'm originally from, um, I'm from Ghana, so I'm from an African country. Um, I actually do plan to uh, major in AAAS, African American Studies, African and African American Studies. Um, and I just think that like African countries in general are like usually not represented in the most positive light. Um, yeah, there's not, there's not a lot of good representation of African countries, but there's a lot out there in these African countries. There's a lot of cool things to do, a lot of beautiful like, tourist attractions, beautiful monuments for people to come and see. So my project is basically meant to like shed light on those things. Cool. Um, will you give us a bit of a demo yeah, of for how sure. to use your project? So yeah, so what you do is you uh, click on the drop down menu and here you'll have access to all the African countries. Um, so let's say we want to look at Nigeria. We can submit, and what, the, um, what my website's gonna do, it's gonna give you um, a page on Nigeria. It gives you some general information, some things you'd need to know if you're planning to visit Nigeria. Um, the capital, the dialing code, the currency, and the official language. Um, from there, you can check out some tourist attractions, um, some cool things to do in Nigeria. Um, if anything looks interesting to you, you take note of that, and then you can go back on my page. And you can use that to create an itinerary. But in order to create an itinerary, you have to create an account because the information is going to be stored in a database. Cool. And so um, what tools from CS50 did you uh, use to create your project? Um, so to create the, um, the, the HTML pages with the, um, the general information, like um, like here with Algeria, um, like. So if I hadn't used an API, I would have to have manually like hard coded this information, and that would have been a lot of work. So I had to use an API that basically ran through um, all the um, d data stored in um, this database called REST Countries, and it stops whenever it sees um, the user input the certain country. When they see that those two countries match, it just spits out th that information. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, and. I this, this sounds like a great, um, sort of very informative project that's sort of fill, filling a need that yeah. it seems like you've identified. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for taking the time to uh, give us a demo and talk a bit about it.